guys welcome this is a general reading for the collective of leo sun moon rising venus hey leo it's your birthday it's your birthday <laughs> oh leo <yeah. laughs> happy birthday happy solar return all the best to all of you always um really exciting to kind of catch you on the you know like first full day let's say it that way i'm gonna pull from soul helper oracle let's see what little bit of assistance you're getting um welcome cross watchers and for those of you who are brand new to the channel hey happy to have you join us please come into the comments say hello let me know where you're tuning in from i will reply card number 11 but of course the time is right. Seize the day and make progress on your soul path. Oh, Leo, but of course. Number 11, very spiritual and um, very common numerologically for twin flames. The time is right, has a very hmm, divine right timing kind of a feel. Seize the day, make progress on your soul path. Seizing things is a Leo archetype i mean it's a leo creation i should say um yeah looks good and don't forget uh we are just about uh, i want to say on the 28th the um lion's gate portal opens up uh on august 8th it reaches its peak 8 8 um and then closes out on august 12th i'm offering a special for lion's gate on private readings 88 dollars off the link is in the description box below leo so if you've been wanting one this might be a nice gift to self okay guys i'm gonna pull the spread give you my general impressions we'll uh get details from the clarifiers where i feel the need to get a little extra guidance here we go nice Overall energy, something is coming toward you. This is about anticipation and manifestation. Wow, wow, wow. Top row is your person's energy. Middle row is yours, of course, strength card, energy. And um, the wow, Leo, in the bottom row, okay. The connection, lovely. And then we have past, present, future. Remember, you can flip these energies around, that may need to happen especially if you're a cross watcher so your person here in the past uh possibly some kind of um new enterprise new something new new beginning uh, maybe an up leveling of something between the two of you but it required some measure of confidence and overcoming um overcoming some obstacle because in the connection there was some rattled nerves a little bit of anxiety worry on both parts so that looks to me like an offer was made you were maybe not 100 percent convinced it would come through and both of you were sort of in a phase of um, tension that you might not have been speaking to each other present energy emperor but of course for you the beautiful energy of the six of cups past life soulmate the warmth the comfort the nostalgia the sort of knowing each other across time and space and here in the connection what did you get you got the time is right the time is right there's a leap here so let me read it to you seize the day and make progress on your soul path seize the day leo or whoever you are watching okay in the near future we have your person open to some communication they may actually be the one to reach out um lots of emphasis on the future and in the connection a restoration of balance and harmony Something may have been out of balance for a while and it kind of feels like it comes back into that space of, okay, um, we have the truth that we're dealing with and like there's your side, there's my side, but then there's like this arbiter of truth that restores the fairness. If anything was amiss in the past because I'm looking at this and there might have been, um, I feel like it all... Uh, 
we find in the justice card some measure of accountability. What did you bring to the party? What did you bring to the party? Because something didn't pass the smell test. So I'm seeing the justice card as the leveling of the playing field so we can sort of reset. Let's jump in, get some clarifiers. Three of, nope, that's, I felt the hesitation immediately. That happens. Still happening. Three of wands. Four of cups, ten of swords. Okay. So almost like in those private moments unto yourselves here, there's an understanding that there's a need for some generosity, uh, give and take, reciprocity. Um, something where, you know, if one of you is feeling a little down, you would reach out to help the other. Um, that's sort of what I'm getting. And I feel like there's this like misery the Four of Cups, almost like you're really missing each other after some very painful ending. And almost like you're looking out at the horizon, like when are, when are they going to return? So I do feel you're miserable with, without each other. And I do feel that part of the repair for that, what, what would be the um, antidote to the disappointment, to the unhappiness, um, would be sort of to rectify the situation with some equal give and take. That could be in communication, so like we have to start somewhere. And I feel like something may have been very one-sided in the past. So let's see for your person here, Ace of Pentacles to the Emperor. Yeah, that message struggled to come out for a reason, so hopefully we'll, we'll get to the bottom of it. This person knew without question you were the one. I feel like they almost, like if I'm, if, if I didn't know better, I would say this is somebody who came close to a proposal, right? You and me together forever, the end, the nine of cups. Ah, a little bit of inaction followed almost like in the awareness of that gift, right? The aces are gifts from spirit in the awareness of it, <clears throat> in the promise of what was to come, there was sort of a resting on one's laurels, like, yeah, this feels good, this feels good. But a little bit of complacency because notice the fool is from the bottom of the deck, not from the top like it is here in the, in the present. But in the past, there was an opportunity that was missed Right? Spirit's handing this person the ace. They're not looking at it. Um, and I definitely feel like this person kind of maybe felt, felt good about what was happening between you, but then either hesitated too long or took something for granted on some level. It's a general reading, so it's going to be different for all of you. And they didn't take the leap. They didn't take the action that was needed. And now they're in this emperor energy. Um, let's see, emperor to the eight of wands. Seven of pentacles, right. They're wanting some kind of communication to sort of uh, happen organically. Meaning like they'll know when the time is right. Here's a hint. The time is right. <laughs> so it's just the seven of pentacles is something that this person may have been waiting for, an opportunity they've been waiting for for a long time. To what? To communicate from their heart, to uh, maybe offer a message of love or apology. Uh, potentially seeing room for apology here. Um, and yeah. With the page of wands underneath, that's optim that's a that's a positive message. It's optimism. It's 
It doesn't take itself too seriously though. So in this person's unconscious awareness, you can kind of almost hear them rehearsing, you know, like, well, maybe I'll just send a text that says, hey, long time no see, you know what I mean? Or, um, you know, been thinking about you and that time such and such happened, like uh, to bring you back to simpler times, something flirtatious or, you know, where there was some chemistry going. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, I feel this is somebody who's waited for the opportunity and they, they took a long time and now they're kind of trying to um, sheepishly find their entry point for some form of communication. Yeah. I'm feeling it. I can sense it's coming. Time is right. So what I want to see for you here is the past to the present, the strength card, Leo energy to the six of cups. Eight of wands, six of swords, five of wands, lots of conflict. I don't think the, I don't, I don't think the communication took place. I'm not sure you had enough confidence at that time, right? Like there was, if we're going to get over this obstacle, we kind of have to talk about it. If we want to move beyond this drama, if we want to get to calmer waters, we have to talk about it, right? And I feel like that did not happen. Um, and if it did happen, the result was pretty devastating, so for those of you that say, nope, did have a com conversation, yeah, it didn't go well, did it? It probably left a mark. So now that's where we were to where we are. I want to see just the Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. As this person comes toward you to communicate, you, you know, you may be resistant, even defensive. The beautiful thing about tarot is that it is, it's not that it's predictive. It's that it's prescriptive. It's that it shows you a range of possible range of possibilities so that you can say, oh, well, I don't, I don't want to reject this person. I don't want to be that defensive. If there's a potential future here, I want to at least be open to hearing what they have to say before I turn and, you know, like talk to the hand. So I am sensing that there may be some defensiveness um, uh, born out of some sense of a need for self-protection. Don't get me wrong. Emperor and Empress, this is a serious connection, a spiritual bond, a soul bond. And this, you know, this, this did not go well for either of you. So it makes sense that you may feel a little defensive and self-protective when it comes to the future, because somebody's going to come in like, you know, hey, you up, <laughs> you know what I mean? And it seems almost a little not evolved enough of a message coming toward you for you to feel safe. For you to feel like it's something you even want to entertain. So there may be thoughts of, yeah, I'm just going to keep on my path. So keep in mind that, that this is prescriptive. It helps you see the range of possibilities and then you get to decide, no, now that I know this is something that may unfold for me, general reading, not a private reading, um, I want to work on my defensiveness. I want to go back to the scene of the crime and I want to make adjustments in my receptivity to this person what I would need to hear to feel some sense of, sense of accountability, a reestablishment of the scales of balance, a level playing field, some fairness. Do you see what I'm saying? So just FYI, that's the benefit of tarot, the true benefit of tarot. So now, stuff kind of got a little wonky. Um, I want to look at the full. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Yes, the Fool to the Justice card. I was like, something flew. Right? There are risks, but you trust. Trust in the net will appear. Or leap in the net will appear, but you got to have some trust. Yes. 
and healing the the regrets of the past and the mistakes of the past mm -hmm. page of swords underneath is just sort of that part of the two of you that that are going to kind of be you know sizing each other up that is the spire detective of the tarot looking for information before you know speaking a message uh, pages are messengers uh, we've got three of them here so the page of swords is sort of like well before i get too excited i need i need to kind of take a walk through you know down memory lane um and do my due diligence before you know, like a look before i leap kind of an energy but you're both this is the connection you're both going to be in that stance but it's all about um, what seems fair, what seems just. I'm gonna pull an extra card on justice just for that. <laughs> Trusting your intuition, absolutely. So um, interesting reading for you, Leo. And I do feel there's something here that you know, even if this person's approach to you or the communication doesn't seem anchored in enough gravitas, like it seems to, like this is love and passion here in a really lighthearted little way. And you might need something weightier um, and therefore may get defensive. So there's a trust but verify, trust but verify, kind of an outlook here in the connection between you. But there's an opportunity here for a lot of healing if you're willing to take a chance on that. And if you can trust your intuition, you may be able to restore something that is very um, uncommon. Yeah, kind of an uncommon bond here. That's what I have for this part of the reading. Of course, I'm gonna jump to the extended. We're gonna take a stroll through the energies of this emperor. Um, looking at really what's going on with them behind the scenes so you might get a better peek into their energy um, how they you know feel about you and maybe their intentions yeah so we're gonna look at everything for this person to help you take a deeper dive so if this is resonating for you the links are below there are three options for how you can access extended so take a second to click a link and read what that entails but then there's option number two and then there's option number three just want to let you know and right below that is the link to the booking page for the lion's gate special private reading offer okay um if this reading has enchanted you in any way if it's you know um, been confirmational insightful helpful enlightening please subscribe below if you haven't already that is the only way i continue can continue on this platform is if you subscribe if you like if you share if you view if you go back and watch other videos <laughs> because it is your engagement with this channel that tells youtube oh people want to see her and then they put me in front of other viewers newer viewers that is how it works and there have been some algorithmic changes that have made it almost nearly impossible for people with channels that are less than 100,000 subscribers to kind of make it so letting you know that after five years yep july 19th was five years it's now harder than it was this time a year ago so i thank you in advance for your support and let me give you the astrology. We have the Fool is here twice. That's the planet Uranus, which is expect the unexpected. Anything can happen and probably will. It rules the sign of Aquarius. The Emperor is Aries. We have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Here we have the Strength card is Leo. Um, the Empress is Venus, which rules Taurus and Libra. We've got the Star, which is more Aquarian energy. Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Justice is Libra, and the High Priestess is the Moon. So that is what I have for you. I am headed to the Extended now. I'll see you there in a second. Happy birthday!